Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will continue documenting the production process of our rock ballad. And particularly, I'm going to show you how the main vocal is sounding coming up next, right after this intro. Okay, so if this is the first time you are visiting this channel, we are all about music production. If you are a self-producing artist, aspiring engineer, recorders, or producer, this channel is for you. Here, we share with you tips, tricks, information, and everything we can to help you make better songs. This time, I am documenting the production process of a rock ballad, and we are at the mixing stage. You can go ahead and click on the link that's above here, and it will take you to the first video of this mixing series. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications so that YouTube lets you know every time we have new content on this channel. And now, without further ado, let's jump into Pro Tools, and I will show you how the vocals are sounding so far. Okay, so we're back in our session, and this tracks here in uh, sky blue are the vocals. I changed the colors because this is uh, the actual color that I use for vocals. I don't know why I had purple before, but these two tracks here are the backing tracks, which we saw in the last episode. Go ahead and check it out if this is the first time you're watching this video. And we are going to take a look today at the main vocal. So let's take a listen first in the context of the mix. Okay, now let's take a listen at the vocals with all of the plugins and all of the effects. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. Mi corazón está en calma plenamente. I'm going to disable each one of these plugins in the vocal chain, in the effect chain, and I will show you what each one of these is doing. I have some automation for the effects, so never mind if you hear a delay here and there, but the idea is, you, is that you hear the vocal raw first. So here it is. En paz. This is how the vocal was recorded. I did it through the C414. So it's pretty straightforward. One thing that I hear from this vocal is that, you know, it is quite a flat response, I guess, from the microphone. It doesn't sound too bright or too Bassy. It sounds uh, a, a little bassy, I would say. It's got the answer already, which I did during the editing process, as we saw before in this whole series. And the first thing that I'm adding is the CLA-2A, and my idea is to compress the vocals as much as possible. And if I were tracking these vocals in, in, a, in, a, in the studio, I would use a compressor, something like a distressor, or this, this time I using, I'm using uh, the CLA-2A just to start adding some gain reduction. And this is reducing about six decibels. Let's check it out. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. Mi corazón está en calma plenamente. Uh, actually, between three and five decibels of uh, gain reduction. And it is already taming the vocal and making it sound a little bit more compressed. The second effect in the chain is the EQ, and I'm starting from a preset, which is the Chrysler LG Rock Vocal. And from that, I'm doing some tweaks here and there, but basically we have a uh, low pass filter, which is just uh, getting out, out of the way, everything below 100 Hertz. And from that point on, what I have is basically an EQ that I would say gives the vocal most drastic change in character and sound. And to me is what makes a vocal sound like a rock vocal. So let's check it out before and after. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. Mi corazón está en calma. Okay, so it is like as if I had my vocal sounding like this, and then 
all of a sudden they're all opened up. So uh, this first EQ here at 8K is what is adding a lot of aggression and it is this is pretty common in rock music. So just give it a try and it is all the way uh, almost seven decibels. And let's listen to the vocal with and without it. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. Lots of aggression. If I go all the way, it sounds starts to sound like a sort of like a telephone effect. But I have to bring it down until it sounds like that rock vocal that is pretty common in rock music. This is a very Chrysler Algae style of vocal. And then after that, what I have is, or I would say before that, the EQ is pretty much opening up the vocals in the higher frequency range of the vocals. And here it is about, the first one is about at about two and a half K. That is to bring the vocals up front and make it pop up a little bit more in the context of the mix. So let's take a listen to that one. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. And this other one, which is another boost at 4.4K, just adds a lot of aggression and it is almost at 8 decibels, so it's doing a lot to vocal. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. It is also adding a lot of brightness and clarity, but the main one, I would say, the one that is adding a lot of aggression is the boost at 8K. That's it. I don't have anything going on, the low frequencies, and there is not no compression here this time because after this EQ, I'm adding again compression. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. Mi corazón está en calma plenamente. I would say that depending on the of the genre, but particularly for rock music and this type of, of rock, the vocals are heavily compressed. And here I'm talking about more than 20 decibels in game reduction. And these settings that I have here are actually originated from a preset that is called in your face vocal because it is compressing it so much that the effect is that you hear it close close to you that's what i'm after and that is what is pretty uh, common in rock music i have here from 15 to 20 decibels of gain reduction plus another six that i have from before and it could be even more I mean, I could go all the way. I give it a try. I hear it. If it sounds good, I compress it even more. So, but that's the effect that I'm after. Very compressed vocal sound. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. Next, I have the F6, which is a multi-band compressor. And basically what I'm doing here is taming a frequency around uh, 1200 hertz. Uh, 1200k and what this is doing is helping me tame the the nasal sound of my voice and this is particular for my voice and it is only affecting the vocal when when that frequency is being exaggerated so it doesn't always affect the vocal so that's why i used a multi-band compressor because from certain threshold starts taming that frequency so let's hear it with and without it. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. Mi corazón está en calma plenamente. Pues sé que todo lo que necesito. It is pretty subtle, and the way I found that frequency was by sweeping around between 800 and let's say 1500 hurts sweep around to find that nasal sound if you have that same issue with your vocals and if obviously if you don't want to have it in the mix because it could be um, something that you like and you want but i wanted to take out a little bit of it and i used the f6 to achieve that then i have the l1 limiter and this is just to add character to the vocals to tame the peaks so it, just making sure that that's not going to clip a lot but this adds a lot of character. I have talked about this before to the bass, to other instruments. And en paz, me. it adds aggression, basically, I would say, to the vocals. Let's take a listen with and without it. 
En paz me encuentro a tus pies. Mi corazón está en calma. It sounds of it, as if it was compressing sort of like the high, um, the, the mid-height frequencies or something, but it, it just adds aggression and it sounds very rock, so to speak. So this is a plug you should give it give a try to. And uh, then adding again more aggression and just making sure the vocals cut through the mix. I've got the decapitator, which is basically adding distortion. So let's take a listen. I, this one sounds a little bit more clear in the chorus. So let's take a listen. Papa, Dios, en amor. So it's doing two things. First thing it's doing is adding level. And the second thing it is doing is distorting the vocal and give, making it sound more aggressive, basically. Papa, Dios, en amor. I don't use too much of it and what I also do is I add I would say between two and three here at the drive knob and then I choose which one of these I like the most and maybe in the context of the mix this one is the one that I liked. If you uh, try to do as many changes in the context of the mix don't recommend to do that in solo because in solo I think I like this one better but in the context of the mix this one sounded better to me and that's what matters the context of the mix now that's for the inserts now let's take a look at the effects and uh, that I have here the first one is just a short uh, delay this one is the Echo Boy Jr. And just a slap tape delay that is adding a little bit of room effect to the vocal. Let's take a listen. En paz, me encuentro a tus pies. Mi corazón está en calma. You hit a little bit of ambient around the vocal. That's all this is doing. And then I have a longer delay, which is in my opinion, what I use and what I feel that actually helps me blend the vocal and it just sound blended like sits pretty nicely in the mix. And that's the delay. What I'm having here is just a classic analog delay. I'm using the Echo Boy and this is a quarter note delay and uh, with quite some feedback and it is noticeable in solo and not too much in the context of the mix. Let's take a listen. En el very deep you can hear it in the in the back of the vocal and in the context of the mix as i was saying it just helps me blend the vocal a little, a little bit more and sit better in the context of the mix so now let's take a listen to to the whole thing again to the vocals in the context of the mix Now the chorus. Yeah, so that would be it. I hope you're able to learn something and take out some tips and information that's going to help you make better songs. Okay, so that would be it. That's the way I process the vocals. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the process I followed, about the plugins, how it is sounding so far. Everything, as always, I'm interested in learning from your ideas, from your comments. That's also going to help other viewers. If you were able to learn something or take something out from this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. That way you will be supporting this channel and we can continue making more videos like this. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. In the next episode, we will continue documenting the production process of our rock ballad. Particularly, we are going to look at the mix automation and final mix details. So stay tuned to the channel. Don't miss it out. And I will see you guys in the next episode.